Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mandolfo and Ignaz von Kolisch. This very beautiful chess game was played in Paris in 1859. Have you ever heard of Ignaz von Kolisch? Who is he? Ignaz von Kolisch was one of the best chess players in the world. In the Paris chess tournament in 1867, he came first, ahead of Simon Vineva and William Steinitz. However, after that, he retired from active play. Then he opened a bank in Vienna in 1871, and within 10 years, he became a very wealthy man. And then he continued to support chess by financing chess tournaments in Europe. Very good man. Did you notice that in this game he is playing without the rook on a 8 Okay, let's have a look at the game. Mandolfo had white pieces and he started with e4. Ignaz von Kolisch played e5. Bishop to c4, knight to f6, knight to c3, c6, d3, b5 attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, a5 threatening a4, trapping the bishop. Mandolfo played a4, b4 attacking the knight, knight to a2, d5, e takes on d5, c takes on d5, knight to f3 attacking the pawn on e5, defending, queen to e2 attacking the pawn again. How to defend the pawn? Perhaps bishop to d6 comes to mind, do you agree? Kolish played bishop to g4, pinning the knight on f3. Mandolfo castle kingside, bishop to c5. That is why Kolish didn't want to play bishop to d6. He wanted his bishop to go to c5. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight on f6, h6, h3. This is interesting moment of the game. Black to move, how would you continue? I think first move that comes to mind is bishop takes knight, if you want to keep the pawn on e5. Do you agree? Kolish came up with an interesting plan. He defended the bishop. This is the part of a big plan. Pawn takes bishop. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on e5. White is very happy. He is two pieces up, threatening to win the queen. Black to move. How would you continue? Kolish played knight to d4, attacking the queen. Queen to e1, keeping the queen on e-file and threatening discover check and winning the queen. For example, if random move, then knight to c6 is winning the queen. So let's call this the most critical position of the game. Black to move. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Kolish played totally unexpected move. 
he moved the pin knight. White move. Kolish considered pawn takes knight. He captured the queen. What happens if pawn takes knight? Then the queen takes bishop. And after say e takes on d5, queen to h5. Black is winning. So we have bishop takes a queen. Can you see now why Kolish sacrificed the queen? What was his plan? Hmm? Do you need to pause the video again? He played knight to g3 with a small threat. Rook to h8, checkmate. Knight to c6 was played. Discover check. Knight from d to e2, check to white king. The only move, knight takes queen, checkmate. This is an art. Do you agree? Did you guess the move in the critical position? Let's go back to this most critical position of the game. Did you guess the move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt. And bye for now.